Hello ladies, I hope that you're all safe and well um, and enjoying this little bit of sunshine that we're, we're currently getting at the moment. Um, it's June um, and I think we're expecting an announcement from um, the government and the Prime Minister over the next few days about what's going to be happening with um, the country opening up a little more and whether choirs can meet and things like that. So I thought I'd bring you up to speed on what's happening. Okay, so um, first a little bit of bad news. Um, unfortunately, uh, a few weeks ago I spoke to Martin and um, he's not available to, uh, to play for Crescendo anymore. Um, unfortunately, he uh, he now teaches on a Wednesday evening, and um, so he's going to continue to do that. Um, so, unfortunately, we don't have a pianist. Um, the second piece of, of news is um, that I've actually um, very recently uh, bought a new house. Um, which is a positive, however, there is a negative to that. Um, the house is uh, approximately 60 miles away. So, um, this means that um, there are gonna be some changes um, with, with this going forwards. Um, and I have uh, looked at whether it's possible for me to continue to um, uh, to to run choir on a Wednesday evening, and I think I've got to be realistic and understand that travelling 120 miles for a you know a two-hour choir session is it, just not going to work. So unfortunately, um, I shall be leaving the choir, which. Uh, leaves us with a little bit of a dilemma. We have no pianist, we have no musical director. Um, I've um, spoken to a lot of people, uh, a number of people uh, in this sort of space and uh, to see if there was anybody else within, um, within choirs that would be willing to take over the musical directorship of the choir uh, as, as its own entity. And unfortunately, um, that, that's that's very difficult. It's quite a big commitment for somebody to take on um, to you know to run a choir for um, uh, for the long term. So um, that I then turned my attention to looking at choirs that were within Derby to see if there was uh, any choir that I felt was a, a good fit. Um, that had a similar ethos to us, um, taught the same way as us, that, that sort of thing. And ruled out a huge number of choirs before um, I settled on uh, and spoke to um, a choir that's quite local to us called Smooth Sounds Choir. Um, they are based in um, on the Broadway in Derby, which is um, near Darley Park. Um, and they... Uh, they currently have um, around 20 members. They've been going about two years, um, but obviously they've been unable to do anything during lockdown than Zoom type stuff. Um, anyway, I have spoken to uh, their musical director, a gentleman called Robin, who um, was, was extremely uh, positive about... Um, uh, our choir joining with Smooth Sounds. Um, they are a mixed choir, so they have men. So they they have four parts currently. They have soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. Um, so you know that there's the opportunity there for us to uh, make a different sound. Um, and. When I spoke to, to Robin at, at some length um, around sort of how they teach, uh, and they teach in exactly the same way that, that I do. So that's the sort of, you, you know, that we get the pianist to play, and then you sing, and then you keep singing it and repeating it until you've got it. Um, so that was a very positive, 
positive thing. They do a similar sort of style of music to what we've been doing, which again is a good thing. Um, they um, they meet on a Wednesday evening um, at uh, in in a hall on Broadway, and they um, they've got plenty of car parking, so there's no no problem with car parking. Um, so it seemed like a very very good fit. It seems like a very good fit. Um, I've spoken to Robin a couple of times, um, and we've ex been exchanging messages quite a lot. Um, uh, and I think that it, that this is a very positive move for Crescendo Choir, uh, for you um, as a as a choir. Um, I think that Robin, uh, because Robin is an ex. Uh, is the ex head of music at Ecclesbourne School. Um, he's far, far more knowledgeable than me, uh, obviously, you know, as you'll attest to, I'm sure. Um, so um, I, I think that there's an opportunity for Robin to, to actually take the choir to places that I probably couldn't have done um, to and, and use your experience and your expertise and your um, history of singing in a choir um, to really to really push it onto the next level. So, um, how's this going to work? Well, um, Robin and I are still still uh, talking about various various things. Um, we've obviously got a a concert which um, we had to postpone, uh, which is almost a ready-made concert. Um, so I've been talking to Robin about that and what we do about that. We're still to iron a few things out, but but nothing of any great consequence. Basically, we you know we've we booked and paid for the hall. We have um, got a, a program of music for uh, for that concert. We've sold a lot of tickets, um, and you know oh and also I've got a load of uh, a load of scarves that we bought for the you know for for you ladies to wear as well. So, um, you know, there's almost a ready-made concert there. Um, and uh, Robin and I have spoken about that and, and whether that could be utilised going forwards. Um, so, how is this going to work? Well, as soon as we can, as soon as, you know, the, the country opens up a little bit more and choirs are told that they can sing again, then um, we will arrange... Um, some rehearsals to go over to um, to go over to Smooth Sounds, and we'll I'll basically be there as well, and we will have a transition of a few weeks. So I will take um, part of uh, rehearsals with leading both choirs, um, and then um, over a, you know a period of two or three weeks, uh, Robin will increase his involvement, and I will decrease mine to the point where you'll start saying, who was that Kev guy? So um, that that's the way that we're going to work. We will keep you informed. Um, I, I would advise you to, to go and have a look at the Smooth Sounds Choir um, website. Um, any further information around this, I'll put our, both on, on our Facebook page and on our website as well. So, you know, everybody will, will be kept informed. Um, I don't know if I mentioned actually, but they meet on a Wednesday evening, um, seven till nine. If I did, sorry if I've repeated it, but there we go. Um, so, you know, it just seems a very, very good fit to me. Um, and, and you know, a way that we can all continue to sing together. Um, I get that joining a new choir would be you know, going to a different choir would be very different to what we've you've done in the past. Um, however, I hope that with the um, the background work that, that Robin and I have done and um, the fact that, you know, we do seem a very good fit, I'm hoping that it will be a very smooth transition. Um, and I would encourage you all to, to give it a go, um, you know, so that you can you can continue to all sing together and continue to make the great sound that you have done for the last 10 years with, you know, with Crescendo. Um, I think 
all that leaves me to say is that th this was not a, a, an easy decision to make. It really wasn't. Um, it was a very difficult decision. Um, you know, I started uh, Crescendo on um, just a bit of a whim, really. You know, it was like, I, I think I can do this. And here we are 10 years later and I'm handed over what is a brilliant choir, you know, a really excellent community choir over to somebody who I believe can take it to the next level. So, um, sorry, just, I just need a drink. So I think all that really I need to say to you guys now is that um, I've enjoyed every minute of the last 10 years. I know it hasn't felt like it sometimes, but you know, I have really enjoyed it. Um, I've loved working with every one of you. Every one of you is special to me. Um, you know, from the youngest to the oldest, to, um, to the to the leads, to the those that are not leads. Um, we've we've had a, some great fun, and I, and you will continue to have fun with Robin's choir, with Smooth Sounds choir. Uh, I'm absolutely convinced of it. So, I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you so so much to you guys from the bottom of my heart. Um, I've absolutely loved every second. Um, and I'm sure that you, this will push the choir forward and it'll be a much better thing when I come to the next concert and see you guys singing. Yes, I will feel a little bit envious, but, um, but I'll also feel extremely proud. We'll keep you informed, uh, Robin and I, and um, as soon as we've got some more information, I'll post it on here and on the website. Um, but I hope you have a lovely Wednesday evening, ladies. Um, take care. All right. Speak soon. Bye.